learning new skills, working with new people, seeing new places. They were right up on the side of the boat. It was incredible to be actually able to see the mammals. It's the first time for a few, a few of us. You won't see it in Spain, you won't see it in France. We're in a different part of the Mediterranean. We're at that interface between the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea and the Nile. And the diversity here is quite astounding. We're at a really critical point right now in our environmental history. Now is the time to make a difference. To find somewhere which is a conservation organization with the facilities to do this meaningful science, that's, that's a win-win scenario and it's not a common thing to find. We aim to inspire the new generation of marine scientists to protect the future of our seas. We've come here for a few years now with the student. The course is completely bespoke and catered to our needs. Archipelagos offers a wide variety of multidisciplinary topics. The more technical aspects of mapping seagrass, using GIS, using underwater photography, was in order for the students to use the data that they collected and create maps. We don't have access to that type of equipment in, in Essex. It's really good to find out where they are so we can look after them and you know, use them as a resource in the future. This is a great opportunity for Cardiff University to come out here, work with Archipelagos and utilise some of their resources that they have. Fantastic resources such as the vessel that we're on today. We've got the cameras down, it's, it's quite close, you don't get to see it very often. Yeah, it's just a cool place to be as well. Microplastics and monitoring of plastic debris in mine ecosystems is a very important topic of the field courses to address the problem of plastic debris aggregations in our seas. Here we are today at the beach, we're looking at the microplastics and sand on the shore and then also we're using pores and kind of seeing what kind of microplastics are in there. We can find out what the sea urchin is grazing on and how much microplastic is in the ecosystem. We're out here looking at large charismatic predators from the gulls and the shearwaters and the petrels through to the dolphins, the common dolphin, the bottom of dolphin. It's, it's amazing. It's like a whole other world down there. Like, you don't think that there's like, noises like that. Archipelagos uses its research vessels to assess the species' abundance and distribution of dolphins, monk seals, whales, as well as sea turtles. 41. The vet clinic of the Aegean Marine Life Sanctuary will support the rehabilitation process for former captive dolphins. Learning how to carry out survey underwater is quite an eye-opener when you've got quadrats and dive slates and you're bobbing around in the water looking at something you've got to identify and then count or estimate the percentage of it under the water. They get to work with the terrestrial team looking at the important fauna and flora that we have on Samos Island, including chameleons, jackals, and over 1,500 species of plant. Whenever you have a population um, of any species on an island, it's more at risk of becoming extinct. We have to keep monitoring the population so that if the population does decline, you can have conservation measures to protect the species. I would recommend it to anyone who likes nature, likes to travel and wants to make some difference uh, in the future. It's really important to ensure that we don't destroy these habitats that we have. The goal is to be in a better preparation, preparation, and to give them a ideological preparation for the environment. When they get back onto campus, all of a sudden horizons have expanded. Their visions of what marine biology can be and what it ought to be for them has changed and that's why I come to Archipelagos. To be able to put it into practice, I think it's just a great experience all around. It's been a pleasure coming back for the last 20 years. It's just amazing, Greece is amazing. It's a different way of looking at conservation 